The following is intended for mature audiences only. Discretion is advised. That's a crush. It's not a crush. I record when you record, buddy. What do you want me to do? Sorry, bro. Get yourself a better computer. I got a good computer. Haven't had an issue yet. We could literally count how many issues you've had. I'm going good now. You've had eight different computers. Perfect. I've had the same one, not one hiccup. Josh, wow. kick the beat. This is going to talk about people and computers and better get better ones. I ain't talking about people. I defended myself. You, no, Good you difference. told me to get a better one. That started talking shit then. Talking shit. He's die, Mr. I'm no war expert. He's gonna need that goofy ass hat on. I swear sometimes. Hurry up and die, bro. Hurry up and die. I hope you're in the nuke club, bro. Just like, like I hope us two lives and he's just like, ah, ah. Y'all just gonna get that full scenario with barbed wire fence and somehow... He gonna choke himself. Welcome back to the show, dudes. I heard about this D and D game, D and D style game you all played. I f***ing want in. Roth, you're first. So basically, just kind of like the zombies, except them picking their items. They pick uh, a war. So you know, like World War II, Vietnam. Uh, Roth has Iraq, Iraq and Afghanistan. So the Middle East. Yeah. Oh, so he got the one where there's the fake. Uh... Hands the hurt locker. Fake weapons of mass destruction type infiltrating for money type shit. He's got Bush going around saying, good job. That didn't mean we, have, we didn't have badass uh, military shit with during that time. Roth, the war was that one was the most. All right, never mind. It was like a 20 year long war. <laughs> 20 year long war for, war for no bro. reason. Yeah, it was no for no reason, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a war. It was... We built up a bunch of material. I'm not defending the shit. war. All right, yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you're arguing on so much yourselves. I got to defend the war. Yeah, this way That's what you always say, Rob. You're, you're always going, I didn't do it. I'm not the I one who did it. it. I didn't say it. Oh, I, right, what did here. I do? Oh, oh yeah, I started the war in stances, Iraq. Bro. <laughs> yeah, let's keep our trust in Iraq, guys. Yes, let's just go for it. That was my thing. Yes, I was the main reason to cause it. I went to Bush and said, you know what? We should go over there and fight. Sure and we should just take did. the oil. Yes, I did. Absolutely. So be that's absolutely right, just, We just know. It's all your fault. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I did. I, I, it wasn't my fault to chart that war. And I'm yeah. just saying, going forward, <laughs> we might have a new segment where you backtrack a lot. How am I backtracking? You, you backtrack no backtrack on any just, do you should do a clip do show it. of all your backtracks. All your backtracks. Because you'd be like, oh, I didn't say you're that. Not one of, you shouldn't say anything, Tim. <laughs> you shouldn't say anything because you backtrack as much as i do so hey man i'm not saying i don't hey no hey man nothing this is listen this is the first time this is the first time you're open to admitting to your backtracking so this is progress hey i'm not saying i don't you do too okay don't be talking shit either (laughs) got my face yeah you did talking shit my main boo's maybe maybe boo and josh are the ones that won't well i need boo backtracks from time to time absolutely backtrack from time what the am i saying Maybe Josh is the only one that does it. Because I don't speak enough. <laughs> now, Josh, he's sucking your cock. He doesn't speak enough. But backtracking, Roth, I won't sit there and say. Hey, you leave Josh alone. Roth, you I leave Josh alone, mother. I wouldn't sit there and say. Okay. I wouldn't sit there and say, oh, Jar Jar Binks is Jamaican. And then in the same sense, I didn't say that. <laughs> that's your that's your patent. Uh, no. They're Jamaicans. No. I didn't yes, say yes. that. Yes. Well, let's, yes. let's get this game going. I want to. F- <laughs> Do some role play. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go through each s- first scenario. We'll start off with Roth, and then go to Tim, and then we'll go to Boo. Um, so, All right. So Roth's just a little context of what you're doing. Uh, you are located in the Middle East, and your company has been tasked with securing a small village that's a four-hour commute from the base. Intel suggests that there are insurgents in the area. You are on a patrol with your squad as your company nears the end of its goal. And an IED hits him. Bum, 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 bum. End, he steps on a landmine. Bum, bum. All right. As you uh, patrol the area, you hear gunshots coming from a windowless house nearby. You and your squad leave the Humvee and approach the door. You notice in the far distance, there's a man recording him. More gunshots come from the house. How do you proceed? I, well, I, first thing, what I would do, what I would do is call out my sniper. Yeah, well, M82 out in the distance, making sure that that thing goes through bullet that goes through buildings. So now he's making his own game map shit up hey, i'm just asking that's what i would do oh, i mean great. who said you're the dm now what the f- i'm just saying i got i got the 50 caliber bmgs so let's okay, go so you have a 50 cal on your humvee but that's about it there's no sniper the 50 caliber bmg is roth walking like trying to clear a room with that no this is on the humvee yeah it's on the, it's mounted on the vehicle in your mole pack you have you have two grenades you have five 30 round clips um, you have a, a what is it an M16 
and uh, and a knife. Okay, so we're gonna use the knives, and we're gonna use two okay. grenades. We're gonna use both of them right off the back. Okay, so you want to just toss a grenade in the f- kill whoever's in there, right? Yes. It's almost the end of the f- trip. Everyone's tired. So you knock, yeah, f- dude. All right. You, Come on, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. To say, you <laughs> can't listen to me. No, I'm. No, you can't I didn't listen to Roth. He's I know, no, dude. Scenario. I just didn't You're expect the master, them. Bro. I know. I just didn't expect them to do this because Roth. I'm gonna and... give you ideas, Dan. I'm like, I pulled out. You guys don't want me to like be involved in it. Like I'm, no, I'm into good. it and shit, and I'm like, I should have been just, into it. My this is bad. Just up. Roth, that's like you making his story and you're changing his story for him. All right, we're using one grenade and we're using and we're going in with the All knives right. afterwards. Uh, so you, you knock, the, you kick down the door. Well, someone in your squad kicks down the door. You toss a grenade in. When you run for cover, you see a small little boy pick up the grenade and it explodes. The entire building explodes and massacres <laughs> everything in a half mile range. It was actually an ex- it was full of bombs. You've died, killed everyone in the town, <laughs> and failed the mission. What a fucking moron! That's all. I was like, are you I sure just... you want to do that? You're definitely. I caught, it, yes. like, I caught, I caught like, it too, but I was like, huh? But then now you've literally are about to be. Under you committed a war crime. War crime. <laughs> He's Iraq. The, all of Iraq. All of Iraq was a war crime. And the he entire fucking and go, battle was a war crime. So. And, goes, and then he sits there and goes, and then this doesn't put any merit to it. We're f- tired and we want to go home. <laughs> Before it even happened. I, no, I knew now. that that was they're like the f- like cherry on top too. He's just like, oh, f- this. Just let's get it done with. And right when Josh said, <laughs> you see a kid pick it up. Anything that came afterwards, the goddamn You're done. That's life. That's war for you boys. Wow. I'm so sorry. I swear to God, if I'm the only one that has a scenario like that, I'm gonna be pissed, Josh. I'm gonna be pissed, Josh. Look at him. I don't know if he's pissed. Look at him now. Already started. That's why I gave you a lot of options. Already started what? I don't care, bro. It was a yeah game. Got it here. So, you, so what you just said didn't matter. You were just f-ing around. Oh, dude, it's it. It's over. It's over. You're the one in chat who's all like, like, uh, I'm all. I love reality, man. So in reality, you would just like not give a. F- yeah, it's yeah, over. Yeah. No in shit. In reality, I'm dead. I love it doesn't reality. matter because I'm dead. Either way, it won't f-ing matter. I'm what dead. Do you mean it it's over. You're right at the end. You and you just threw caution to the f-ing wind, like. Yes. It's over. You Fuck know the it. okay. So you just watched the Hurt Locker, right? Right. So do you remember when he's trying to figure out the car, the car bomb, right? And there's the guy recording with the camera. That was the hint. Like, are you sure? That was, that was the hint right there. I was like, Ralph, oh, I was with you with the knives. When you said knives, when you said that, I go. I'm like, I'd go knives. I'd save my ammo because we don't know how long this fight's gonna be. I'd save my ammo. So let's go in with the, the knives. Knife. And then Ralph's like, knives and grenades. And I'm throwing them grenades in that bitch. <laughs> also, knives. I gotta say, knives after the grenades is pretty f- aggressive. <laughs> like, like he's yeah. he's ready to f- cut up some corpses, dude. This is what I literally <laughs> thinking when he said knives and grenades. I go, okay, so if they're f- half dead because of the grenades, he's gonna come in and finish them off. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody dies on grenades, man. Yeah, they kill everybody. He's like half <laughs> half the torso and shit. Cut the hands, fools. Cut the hands. There's a dude literally crawling out the back door and this <laughs> Rav comes with the knife and just bink. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I got him. <laughs> at this point I'm starting to think it was a war crime, bro. <laughs> Fight was it, a was, war crime. It, it was it was a war crime with intention from the beginning. He was ready for no witnesses. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> this is why he never went to war. No, it was like this. It was like throw the grenades in. Hand me those two knives on the counter on on the, on the dashboard. The f- <laughs> knives just for in case. <laughs> we just, just, just case. threw grenades in there. We just bit. threw like two grenades in there. Like what the. F- not even smoke grenades either, mind you. He didn't care to ask. We don't have he them. Didn't, I didn't have smoke grenades. I would have used anything other than a grenade. No, you. Oh, no, when he said, no, you no, when Josh said two grenades, you weren't careful to be like, what kind of grenades, Josh? Like he yeah, just, you just went. No, he said there's no flash grenades. grenades. So if there's no flash grenades, obviously no, there's no, gonna no. be a grenade or this. Roth says, he, li- Roth says he lives in reality, and his <laughs> shit's reality. I didn't say that. I said I. 
like that better than futuristic movies. Okay, I think then, war okay, movies then, okay, and real war movies are better than future war movies. Okay, then. Backtrack. Okay, you're going to quote me, quote another me right. Backtrack. Another backtrack. Cool. That ain't a backtrack. Right, okay, no, no, no. Okay. You can't read right. It's okay. a problem. Okay. You're illiterate, okay. bastard. Okay. Read the text over Damn, again. Damn, you hear him? He's just <laughs> gunning. I'm an illiterate <laughs> bastard yeah. and a he's motherfucker. He's as aggressive in real life as he is in the game. He's At least he's on point with that. Like, no, damn. but with his reality, with his reality theory and liking real shit, a real <laughs> would have investigated the building before going gung-ho in that mother dumbass. We're getting shot at, dumbass. Where? No, you weren't. He didn't say you yes, were he getting were. shot. No, I said someone was recording you from the distance. Boom, gal. Someone was shooting with a camera. You can't dumb, hear. Dumb. Hold on, go back you to the tape. You can't hear. Go back to the tape. You can't go hear. You need a hearing aid, you deaf no, son of a bitch. Go back to the tape. I heard him say they were shooting through a If I'm illiterate, you're, you're a deaf son of a shooting. bitch, bro. I'm blind. So what's next? So Tim is doing a sci. Uh, he 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 picked sci-fi futuristic war theme. I said, don't give me no Iraq war. That wasn't touching the Muslim <laughs> subject. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> nope. Tim, your squad is tasked with investigating for, uh, foreign radio signals coming from a starless planet in a neighboring galaxy. Intel suggests it may be a new race attempting to communicate. Starless? Okay, so it's like no light, like starless. It's dark as a dark It's as cold, a too. Mm -hmm. So you are tasked with finding the source and making contact. Uh, you have a plasma rifle, plasma grenades. You have a full suit of future armor bullshit, right? Halo, Mass Effect, I'm whatever. I'm assuming there's like a, we got the, yeah. get like, you know. Yeah, the temperature, glass, oxygen shit. is the, not an yeah, issue. Yeah, the, the atmosphere ain't there. Okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. How's he shit in that suit? Uh, it has a like a catheter, but it goes into his asshole. How do they live Oof. on that planet? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Bro, I'm still tripping on the, the yeah, tube up your ass to shit. <laughs> oh. It gapes his asshole. <laughs> so Damn, that's what you're comfortable <laughs> like that, Tim. It's, Damn. you know, I was oh, expecting I was, <laughs> something was going to go up my ass when Josh is concerned. I don't this. Whoa. I think Captain Bakash. <laughs> Captain Bakash, why are shit, you walking Josh, like that? What do you do to him when you're not around? The tube is Captain Bakash, why are you walking like that? Yeah, why are you walking like that, the Captain Bakash? <laughs> I'm not used to the girth, cadet. <laughs> Johnson. So, real quick, bullet points. I'm investigating a yep. unknown foreign si uh, signal from the sunless planet. With the tube up your ass. <laughs> With the tube up my ass, yeah. Since uh, they're not responding to you, you're assuming they're a new race. And so so I've landed already, and like there's no one there? Like It's like a ghost town, or, or what? You know, you reach the location of the signal, uh, and you find a large stone structure with a series of pyramids stacked upon one another. When you exit the shit, uh, you appear, you know, where you guys are located appear to be in the in the front of the structure where there's an entrance. Pause there, hold on, pause um, there. So how do you continue? Where is Roth's health points at at this point? We didn't get a health point. Right, Roth's dead. dead. He's dead. I died. I the, died. the whole building was like packed with bombs. Yeah, yeah. He, he, whoa, whoa, he whoa, set whoa, off whoa, a new whoa, 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 I died. No, 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 no. He ran in there immediately after the grenades? No, the grenade blew up. No, no, no. no. Even if he bomb, didn't go inside, factory. he threw a grenade. Yeah, it was a bomb factory blew up half the yeah. city. Like he, oh, he God, set off man, like a half the city. The first building. Damn. Sorry. No, no, I blew up half <laughs> yeah. the city. He blew up half a mile radius. Everybody dead. Yeah, kids Everybody dead. Everybody dead. He well, dead. Yeah, so it's, it's cool. Wow. It's all good. Nobody even knows that it happened. So <laughs> <laughs> no just witnesses. like he wanted. <laughs> just like he wanted. Hey man, nobody knows anything. All I know is that they went in and something happened. They flipped the whole <laughs> just like he wanted. Okay. Okay, so, go back to Nobody will even know that it was me that Sorry, did it. I didn't know that. Go back to Tim. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's like it's like a series of pyramids stacked upon one another. It's really long. In the front, there's like a little tunnel that you know you would assume is the entrance. It seems like it's made out of like some sort of like stone, metal, some sort of like alien technology. So you can't really like see what's inside of it. From what you can tell, there's the front entrance, right? Which is you know you can clearly go through. So your options, you can cautiously try and enter it using your helmet to scan. Uh, you can. Throw a series of grenades like Roth did and just try and blow the place out. Or you can, you know, roam around and use your ship scanner to see if you can find another entrance. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that shit we didn't do a scan before we even landed. Can we? Can, can we? Can we do a scan like with the ship first, yeah. like for the surrounding area? Yep, yep, yep. I would have said that too. Like, is there anybody in the ship? It's you and your squad. Everybody's out though. 
Who's my immediate, like, next in command? Your next in command? Does he have a name? No, he doesn't have a name. It's just person. Yeah, it's not okay. really relevant. Can I Can I look at the person and slap him for not reminding me to scan before I landed? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Like, I want to do that. Okay. Those points for that. Um, You're hurting So you roll to there. slap him. Um, <laughs> okay, so you actually critically fail and miss and fall and embarrass yourself. His face up. Yeah, so you actually yeah. rolled a one on that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but now... So you fall flat on your face and die <laughs> in the cold temperatures. So I'm so so I'm dead. Like I'm gone now. No, no. You just you embarrassed yourself. I look at like oh, f- got Barney five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F- and immediately trying to recover, I'm like, well, whatever. Just let's let's get the scan undergoing. You have your your instant scan, right? But you know how there's the long scan where you're just kind of like boop. No, I'm not taking no chances. Before I take any other moves, this ship is doing a massive wide scan. Okay. Of everything. All right. Yeah. So you, and while it's can scanning. Can scanner penetrate? Can I slap that? <laughs> <laughs> Josh? What would you say? Is his scanner capable of penetrating that, that, that uh, structure? We don't know. We're well, about to find we out. We don't know yet. That's what the scan is going to tell us. You use your ship to uh, to scan for other possible entryways, and you find a vent that you can enter in instead. I send the homie who didn't scan through the vent. No, you guys all have to go. Thank you. <laughs> hey, does, we all have yeah, to go. All well, have I going first. I'm sending yeah, him first, first, first in. He can go in he's front first of me. I'm sending him first in. Yeah, exactly. He's first. He's going in first no matter what. I don't give a f- <laughs> He didn't do the scan, which means he could have exactly. set me up for anything going right through the front door. He could have been roughed. He probably was going to be there. No, like, listen, I'm listen, good. let's just go in. Like, we, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a signal for nothing. Let's just lock a knock on the front door and then get out of here. Let's play yeah, knock on ditch. Let's play ding dong ditch. I'm like, no. So did you, you go through the vent sending your, your, uh, co-captain in front of you? Oh, hold on. Well, so the scanner didn't oh, pick you up made anything. him a co-captain? Definitely it found one slapped. entrance. It's the vent as well as the front entrance. It yeah. didn't. It didn't pick up any kind of like weird anomal, anomalous readings from the the obelisk or anything. No, it can't no penetrate readings, through it. It can only okay. sense openings in the structure itself. Josh and, is using hella pornographic words. Penetrate. I'm. I'm, I'm just saying. There's hard. like the obelisk or the pyramids or anything. Yeah. They ain't given other the, signals. Nothing. Okay. Real quick. The pyramids. You're saying they're stacked on top of each other. Mm-hmm. They're like, it's like, like a series of pyramids, like triangular shapes, pointed. Okay. I was picturing some like very impossible shit. Josh Ron Hubbard is Josh Ron <laughs> Hubbard. Yeah. <laughs> you can stack the guys. pyramids and burn them all. You take the, the front entrance or the vent? The vents, the vents. Okay, so you're in the vents. Homeboy's going in first. Yeah, so you take that route instead and uh, make your way towards the, the signal, and that's the end of your first scenario. Okay. I'm surprised Good you took What's that What's his way. health bar? He's 10 What's out of 10. What's his health bar for the embarrassing? Tim has minus one embarrassment All right. for failing to slap his <laughs> coke like I'll, I'll take I'll take a hit. <laughs> note of advice, note of advice, my scenario heavy hardcore drugs were used at that point <laughs> continue yeah. so boo's doing vietnam Woo! we got staff sergeant boo drugs and he's been tasked with the job of finding colonel kurtz he's gonna be dropped into a hot <laughs> z- <laughs> he's gonna be dropped into a hot zone and he needs to navigate through the jungle to find him I'm already dead because I'm not even worried about the enemy when I'm worried about the indigenous animals that I'm about to run into. Okay, bro. When it comes to spiders and beetles and ants and pythons and jaguars. and It's about to be Operation Snake Eater here, bro. All right, Boo. So as you and your squadron are dropped off, they are immediately under fire. You guys jump out of the helicopter. And as you jump out, a Viet Cong comes straight at you with his bayonet (laughs) trying to stab you. What do you do? What does he have? Can I answer? This is my story, bro. Just make it. I didn't ask what you you had. Don't need no help. You got a knife. You got a radio. You got grenades. You got your rifle. You got a pistol. um, And uh, yeah, two grenades and and a, a bunch of phosphorus grenades as well. And I have a choice to throw any things at him. Right now in this situation... I have it limited because a grenade's going to get you killed, obviously. Oh, no, no, I get it. So okay. what I'm going to throw is the radio at his head. <laughs> okay, so you're the staff sergeant, so you're, like, telling people to radio. Like, you don't have the, the radio. Like, it's an option, like, you know, radio oh, in. Oh, I was about to throw the radio. Yeah. That'll fuck him <laughs> off first off so, with the bayonet. So you can go hand-to-hand combat with him without a knife. You can 
try and shoot him. You can try and knife him. You can run away. I'll run. Can he shoot you? He's running at me with a bayonet right now. All right. So just just so you know, okay, because this is this is one of those. I was like, well, technically he can run. So you have a, a one to ten to fail and eleven to twenty to to succeed. So you roll a nine. So you fail. And these are all pre written. I'm sorry. So <laughs> you run like a coward no and worries. are stabbed in the back as you try to escape for cover. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but luckily. Your squadron was able to kill him, leaving you fine. So you're wounded. It's a flesh wound. Probably pretty badly. <laughs> All right, now, I'm wounded in the upper lower back. It's your shoulder, your top shoulder. Oh, so right oh. now what we're going to do is patch that up, and then we're going to give me some of them hardcore Vietnam drugs. <laughs> drugs. You don't have any yet. <laughs> you didn't come loaded? No. <laughs> no, because here's why. He knows. If he would have gave me five things, I would have been done. He knew I would have brought some real so shit, some, cocaine, some real drugs for some this crack and methamphetamine. Yeah. He would he would have he would have went fear and loathing <laughs> yeah. on these fools. Cocaine till they could stitch him up. In this situation, you'd want coke, crack, or meth. You want an upper, yeah, hard, hard. Well, no, you'd want the coke. You want the coke to put on the wound. And the coke would uppers, go on the wound nigga. and numb it all completely. You want energy uppers. Nigga. Cause then you want to just be alert. Continue, Josh. All right, I'm like five health. <laughs> no, you, you see, so you, you take two damage, so you're at eight. But you patch it up, brings you back to ten. In that instance, your squad ends up successfully securing the drop zone and begins to make their way into the jungle. And that's the end of your scenario. See, I ran, dude. See, running is key, guys. Running is key sometimes in the D and D. There's our staff sergeant running. running. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Mel Gibson, bro. I'm just happy I'm not the only one that. F- embarrassed myself all right like <laughs> i'm that that was like literally didn't really want to do this you were like, hyping everybody head. up no, on no, the fucking plane exactly. and then they get there exactly as soon as we <laughs> land bro <laughs> this shit <laughs> this why did they put me in charge <laughs> you i'm out <laughs> not me you were the opposite of sam jackson and <laughs> go island back to tim so Tim's navigating through the ventilation system, following the signal, where he reaches an alien control room. In the center, it seems like there's the transmitter, which seems to be the source. You scan the room, and you begin to hear things in your head. No escape. Fight. Enter pod. A series of pods open up, ready for your squad to enter. In this instance, this is, this is kind of different. So you can reject the thoughts or allow them. Do the rest of my squad hear them? Everyone's experiencing the same thing. And you're Everyone's... the commander, so they're going to do whatever you tell them to do at the end of the okay. day. Okay. No escape. Enter the pod. No escape. Fight. Enter pod. Is a n- who f***ed up and he missed the slap still alive? He's there. He's looking at Tim <laughs> like, what do we do? You go going, the fuck, you going, going first. We go in one by one, and we let homeboy go in first. And Tim tells him this on the way going in. <laughs> Should have did that scan of the perimeter, huh? And also, <laughs> just in case, the first homeboy's going in the pod. We have two on the sides of the of two other pods, just ready to go in, just in case it seems like a good idea. First, before all of that, in this in this quick instance, right? Because you, you jumped ahead a little bit. Do you reject those thoughts flat out, or do you kind of, you know, let them come to you? Character-wise, I would probably initially reject them. You're going to reject them? Well, fine, fucker. No, I'll just... I'll yeah! I'm, no, I'm trying to get your... You better no. not reject them, nigga. Because okay. I was already to wow. I was already to send a homeboy in, wow. so, like, I guess okay. not. Like, okay, I like this, right? realistically speaking, I, was, I had already, like, was curious about the voice. So, because I was already ready to let the dude in, right? So, yeah. I guess... Because yeah, you're about setup, to go in the pod, so that would imply like you're okay with him, so you would allow it. I was trying to like set up a narrative, but okay. So you accept the thoughts within your brain. Um, the alien introduces itself. It is the engineer. It explains that it is the source of the signal, and it has created this entire place, but it is in danger. Their creations have broken away from its control and now obey another, Dagora the new mother of the hive. And that's the end of your scenario. You've skipped over all of the action so far, which is insane. Okay. <laughs> Give Roth my scenario, because I'm wounded, and I let Corporal Roth leave my scenario right now, and I'm on a gurney oh, being no, no, pulled no, no, we're behind. We're good, we're good. Go ahead. No, no, I want to see where this goes. <clears throat> you already got stabbed in the back, brother. So let's keep going. This is a big one, boo. All right. So you've been wandering through the jungle for some time now, and you finally reached a crossroad. You can either hit the river where there's a boat waiting for you or explore what Intel reports as the entrance of a system of caves. Oh, f- 
I hit the caves intel explore you head to the entrance of the cave it looks like an animal a large animal burrow covered in overgrown uh vegetation you can hear mumbling laughing uh noises coming from in how do you proceed you can toss a phosphorus grenade in there you can toss a normal grenade in there you can enter in without assault and just you know see what's going on um, or you can enter with assault and my special forces and I'm only in my intel knows I'm the only American soldiers out here. Yeah, but you are in a very rural area right now. You are off the beaten trail. You're not near where normal battle is, which is how you've gone. I'll come in non-hostile. So you enter the tunnel uh, with your weapons drawn, of course, only to find a group. That's hostile. You're right. I'm sorry. Weapons down. I'm just walking yeah. in. Just walking in. Hands on them, but weapons down. No, not even on them. That gives me a trigger warning. Like these will know. Okay. You're not we're even like in, just, no. you're not even just walking in like this. No, we're walking in. Because because keep in mind, you're trying to find this colonel who's not trying to be near battle. That and and then from what he's telling me, they're chilling, they're laughing, and they're not right now. They're not hostile. All right, it's that scenario. I remember. Right, right, right. Okay. So uh, you enter the tunnel, only to find a group of Viet Congs who have deserted. They're all drinking, doing drugs, and having a good time. They look drugs. at you, They look at you and all start laughing hysterically, waving you over. What do you do? Sit down with them. You join them. Your squad joins the group of des deserters and partake in a variety of drugs they have. Staff Sergeant <laughs> Boo finds himself ingesting everything he can find. Opium, acid, mescaline, mushrooms, weed. Drugs! <laughs> you experience the world in an altered state from here on out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of this scenario is you're going to be Boo's <laughs> like, now we're talking. Like Man, I knew not to come in hostile on these. Yeah. I knew they was the homies. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, he's over there laughing. I'm like, that don't sound like some It's like really angry. We can, Because it's not hard to pull your pistol out and pop a you feel threatened. True. So. Before his scenario ends, Boo's all f***ed up. A green troll hops over towards you. <laughs> He's like, hey boss, they say a man <laughs> named Kurt sold them this shit. We know where he's at. Hey boss. <laughs> we follow him, of course. You follow the f troll, come on. <laughs> you guys are all f***ed up. And you make your way to what you perceive as Terra's rectum to the marked location. Come on. Damn. And I ain't had to pop one bullet yet. <laughs> Did Boo really think a butthole wasn't involved in his scenario? <laughs> I didn't care about that. That didn't bother me at all. Because <laughs> it's a tunnel, I'm, you bro, know? Right now I'm on drugs. You think anals are bothering me and asses are bothering me and all that? Right now I'm on drugs, bro. I got a I'm whole other drugs. problem. <laughs> shit I'm tripping on right now. <laughs> all right. Tim's scenario three, you and your squad have agreed to help and enter the pods. I'm, I'm going to hold off on the pods. Like, that's going to be the plan in a second, but I do have a question. Before. Yes, yes. Am I able to inquire some more backstory on why they left the pod for this God thing? What he has created is a series of, for our own understanding, xenomorph-like creatures, right? That were under his control in a hive mind. They have somehow disconnected from his mind and latched onto another. And these are all unorganic things. They are not real. They are, they're artificial, right? Like robots kind of. Um, okay. And so these machines that he wants you to operate cannot be operated by him, by themselves. They have to be okay. are, are operated by an organic, by organic material. But unfortunately, he's the only one left of his kind. Well, I'm still sending homeboy in first just in case it's a trap. Man, Mr. non reading grids and <laughs> let no radar missing ass. How do we know the co-captain didn't set all this up? It's true. It, it's a risk. Your squadrons uh, jump in, the door shuts, and they are launched away, nowhere to be seen. And you're just standing there waiting. Fuck it, boys. Let's all hop in. You jump in there. The doors close. It straps you in. You're launched up into the air. And you're relocated to a really dark area. All of a sudden, the lights turn on, and it looks like you're inside of a mech. Your mind has been synchronized with the machine and acts as an extension of yourself. All of your squadron, once all in the mechs, are launched up into the air. I was really hoping, like, for comedic purposes, like the homeboy who went in first just like like fell flat on his face in the mech. Or some <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> no, like, I was, it's not I that was hard. Really hoping he just like 
<laughs> goofed. Yeah. No. You, all right. You look at your arms. You have two guns, and all of a sudden, there's a giant alien standing in front of you, glowing blue, has massive tentacles, and it starts rushing towards you. What do you do? Right. It's an armored core. It, like, can these things glide, move around? Like, are like what? What? What are these? You're what are the floating in the air. Okay, you can yeah. fly. Yeah. It's. It's armored core. Yeah. There's like I, I get three of them to like you know flank around them shooting, and I'm just like and I'm pulling back while while they're shooting at. Me. Okay, so here are your options. So you can um you know you can try and do some hand to hand combat with it. You can shoot it right like like what you were saying, or you can try and actually you know uh check out the mech see if there's anything else to do with it. Well, if it's rushing at me, how much time do I have to be curious? Enough in this very scenario. Let's start. I'm going to start pressing buttons. All right. So you're good. You're barely good. You roll a 12 and you need at least an 11. Shit. Tim is able to activate the true capabilities of the mech. The mech begins to glow. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the skin of my teeth. Mashing buttons and somehow got that bitch going on G style like Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's <laughs> glowing. He's radiating energy. He's moving as fast as lightning. Killing this giant monster isn't a big deal. You're able to cut off each one of the tentacles in a single move, and at, you finish him by slicing him down the center, and you succeed the mission. Would have said hi first, but he came rushing at me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's still a, got a tube up your ass. <laughs> still got a tube up my ass. All the entire all, time. All, 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 all with my orifice filled up. So that's the end of Tim's. Tim Tim uh Tim made it. I did. Congrats. That's the is that the end of the scenario? Is that the end yeah, of the whole that's, thing? Yeah, cuz you helped him out, you got the intel you figured and I, it out. And I defeated the thing. Okay. Yeah. But there's no there's no like last speech by the dude. There's no like ah uh, you, you I would have gotten you know, like nothing, like no explanation. The co-captain would get it. He's going to be in the Josh, I got 15 the pages job, here. Josh, I, I did like not write an story. ending. I'm sorry. I just put you it's win. It's okay. I this was great. I was just uh, you the, did I great, was just Josh. overzealous. That's it. This was fantastic. This was a great, yeah, this was asshole. Great. Yeah, but I tried this to like cool. add like themes. So like the what's the, the monster supposed to be? You know, Godzilla monster, and then yeah, so I I I saw I caught the the blue that was that was tight. But yeah, now we're we're left with booze. Let's do it, baby. Like, I'm running. You're running. He's, he's running on drugs. <laughs> I'm running on drugs through the jungle at <laughs> night. <laughs> so booze. But naked, along with everyone in his squad, who knows how their clothes are hey, dropped off? Hold on, is Smokey with us? And where's Debo's pigeon coop? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> you finally, you know, get to the location on the map. You walk into what looks like an outdoor, uh, amp like an amphitheater, right, with a stage in the center, surrounded by seats. Um, except in the seats, it's it's full of a uh, of chimps, right? And they're all like, ah, oh. right? Like just <laughs> like pointing Josh, at you, dude. like, <laughs> right? A little racist, bro. A little racist, bro. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say it's that. It's a chimp. Getting little racist Come vibes on, from this. Josh, one. before you step any further, you you got to play the bite on yourself. Okay, no, because the reason why I chose chimps is because they are not indigenous to Vietnam. So for them being there is a weird thing altogether. By the way, you knew Boo was going in there. Play the mother fight on yourself, dude. Oh, God damn it, dude. <laughs> right. Nobody gets a pass. And then he's smart <laughs> with it. He say, he goes like this. They're not indigenous. Another stab at my culture, indigenous <laughs> black people. They're not indigenous there. God damn it. So back to Josh got this whole weird, whole weird root scenario going on. <laughs> okay, okay. So they're... Just, just roll with it, all right. So there's, there's an audience of monkeys excited. Oh. Damn, they don't even sound PC. There's an audience of monkeys. They're the oh, chips. They're like, tell them, Josh. <laughs> okay. Tell them, Josh. <laughs> tell them, you brother. You're, you're my you're, brother. I'm not Josh. making the association you are. Okay, let's just let's just put that down. <laughs> okay, I would never make that kind of a association with. That's uh, okay. it's all you. <laughs> So it, with with me. my with my very uh, genuine description, right, with no stigmas or whatever you want to call them, right, <laughs> Stereo, whatever the f racist, shit, right. <laughs> Oh, Josh just gave a copyright, a 
Or what is that he gave him? What do they say? A disclaimer. A disclaimer. A disclaimer, yeah, a disclaimer, bro, disclaimer. before he says anymore. What's the word? I'm, I'm very I'm very innocent. Okay. There's no hostility. He goes whatsoever. like this. He goes like this. This is what Josh is basically saying. People who are watching the show today, I'll say it for Josh. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. I have about five or six black friends, and that's not including Boo. I like collard green. I like watermelon and chicken. I don't understand what they're talking about. Continue. They're they're making a riot, and out from the oh, wow riot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're just on one. Continue. <laughs> John. <laughs> he knows it's fucking funny. <laughs> He's so mad. He's off. So the, so the chimps are causing a ruckus, okay? A ruckus, goddammit. <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus. Oh, God. Continue. <laughs> So they're violently <laughs> jumping up and down, okay? <laughs> what are you saying? We jump high, bro? We got we're athletic. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm making no association of whatsoever. <laughs> You are. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. You gotta understand right now. You gotta understand. My character is on every drug, bro. So it's he's running. He's, he's, just, right he's waiting for the, the cosmic gods to settle on a he's, scenario here. He's gonna get terrified. Nah, I feel he's like no, I need. No, nah. no. If this is Vietnam. If this is Vietnam, I'm looking around like, where's them? Right on, brother. We don't let this ride, brother. One of them, you know, one of them, <laughs> one of them 60s pro black bro pop up somewhere at this point. I cried. Josh, don't, if, Josh, uh. if you mention, if you mention police or German shepherds in any of this going forward. I'm not, I'm not. Oh my God. From across from you, from a tunnel, comes out a bipedal crocodile. He has a deep ethereal voice and he says, Judgment defeats us all. He gets in a fighting stance and signals you to fight him. So you can just fight him or just shoot him. Whatever you want to do. Anything? You're either fighting him, shooting him, or what, running away? I can't give him like a flower and say like, peace, not war. Where are you going to get a flower from i'm high right now bro you don't know whatever <laughs> <laughs> it could be a f bullet for god knows what i know nigga it could be a bullet i think it's a f flower so you want to give him a flower knowing this situation i'm on drugs and everything if i gun this n down drugs. it's coots <laughs> i didn't just kill the n i'm looking for because i'm high on drugs that's the scenario i'm looking for if i gun him down I wake up from this drug stupor and I just killed the n I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and fight right now. All right. So you need at least uh, an 11. You roll and you get an eight. Done. <laughs> Done. So you approach the alligator with your fists up. So, so he's quick to get one in. He knocks you out. You end up waking up, finding yourself caged, butt naked. No weapons, no Still clothing. By the He's way. caged. You put him in a cage, Josh. <laughs> you put him in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> you put him in a cage, bro. Not naked. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 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 hey, Josh. Keep in mind, I didn't even say this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're sober. It was Kurtz. You're right. Kurtz was the gator. He approaches you and just says, I'm not going back. And you look over and your squad is also stripped butt naked, tied upside down to all the trees. He's really insistent on reminding you that you're naked. No, dude. everyone, all of your squad. <laughs> and know. you've. Failed the mission, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, so this is um, this is um, uh, uh, apocalypse now. now I'm yeah. looking at. Yeah, this is apocalypse now. <laughs> that was apocalypse now. With yeah, the there Indian. were there were like themes of other movies in it, but just we didn't, you know, hit that. So we didn't. 
because <laughs> yeah, he was on fucking. Oh yeah, Josh wasn't touching him. Drugs. Josh and also being, <laughs> you know, a metaphor at the same time. <laughs> that was an all right, guys. So this week's episode, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> touch some subject, touch some real subject. Not racist. Like, for example. For example, in Rob's story, don't go in with grenades and knives. Uh, you might want to go in with just knives first. Just a knife, probably do big. <laughs> and uh, for mine, scan first. Scan first. Scan first. And avoid all conflict. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> and with Josh's, agree with everybody and <laughs> avoid all conflicts. And with Josh's in mind, um. <laughs> <laughs> Say one more, boo. You're good. You're good, dog. You're hey, good. We love hey, you. Josh. We love you. Let me do you the favor, Rude. boo. Hey, Josh, kick the beat, slave. <laughs> what? Be a good human. Me? Ooh. That's true, though. Ooh. The top was the, the best part of that. They're rioting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuck on you naked in a cage, dude. Yeah, that's not the best part. <laughs> he put you in a cage naked, man. <laughs> uh, Josh, you have to make more of these.